What's up guys? What's up guys? What's up guys? It's your girl and T here. here. And that stands for, and that stands for, and, and that, that stands, stands for, for Natalia Taylor? New T? Your girl MT is officially going on tour. I knew that 2020 was gonna be a really big year for us on this channel. It's finally time. It's finally our moment. Okay, that was a little dramatic. <laughs> the unexpected truth about your zodiac sign. If you're curious, keep on watching. What's up guys? It's your girl, NT here, and that stands for Natalia Taylor. Welcome back to my channel, your favorite Cancerian queen, here once again to deliver to you your favorite zodiac content. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon if you'd like to get that notification every single time I post. I upload a new video every Monday, and occasionally on Fridays if I feel like it, but hardly ever, don't count on it. The truth about your zodiac sign, what you normally wouldn't tell people. I'm exposing that today. There are actually some traits about the zodiac signs that are a little unexpected. The ones that people don't normally talk about and that you probably wouldn't share with very many people. This is sort of a part two to the exposing your zodiac sign. If you haven't seen that video already, I highly recommend you check it out. But today I'm going to be sharing with you a couple couple different points that maybe aren't very obvious or don't get talked about enough. You might learn a little bit about yourself in this video, but if you are new to this NT Zodiac series or to horoscopes in general, then you should know that every single person is born with a certain Zodiac sign. It all depends on the day you were born. There are 12 in total, each determining who you are as a person, what kind of decisions you make, what type of relationships you're in. It's all unique to you. and we're going to discuss the truth about yours today. If you're not sure what your zodiac sign is, I will put a little chart right here for you to reference. So look at this chart, find your birthday, and that is your zodiac sign. Like I already mentioned, I make videos on zodiac signs all the time. You've probably heard some reoccurring themes. Leos are confident, Scorpios are evil, Cancers are crybabies, the same stuff, okay? But today I'm diving in to the traits that are a little deeper than that or are a little bit more or hidden from the world, possibly your deepest zodiac secrets. I will be leaving all of the timestamps down in the description so that you can jump to your zodiac sign or your grandma's or your brother's or your significant other if you're trying to get the tea. So feel free to reference that if you must. But with that being said, let's get started. The truth about Aries. One thing that Aries don't normally talk about or they'll be more inclined to hold back from their friends or their family is that their biggest fear is failure. And Aries is terrified of trying something and going out of their way, putting their entire heart into a task and failing at it. It's kind of ironic considering that Aries is a person that will give up on things too soon and very quickly because they're wanting to jump onto something new. This makes them self-conscious because they feel like they failed at something when they really just gave up too soon. Maybe instead of being hard on yourself, consider if you're jumping from task to task a little too much. Second secret that an Aries probably won't tell you, they are extremely hard on themselves. And this goes hand in hand with the first one. They are the first person to tear themselves down. They are their own worst critic. And any Aries that is listening to this right now will believe this. I know sometimes I say things that people are like, can't relate every Aries will be able to relate to this. They tear themselves down all the time and oftentimes for no reason. It's just your personality that you like to move on to things quickly. You're not a failure. You're not a terrible person. You're just yourself. So find it in yourself, Aries, to accept that spontaneous, erratic, 
personality that you have. And thirdly, but lastly, an Aries is probably going to be reluctant to tell you that they don't trust you. Aries have the biggest trust issues ever, and it's not always because someone hurt them in the past. They just don't rely on anyone. Trusting someone to get the job done is just not in the cards for them. They would much rather do it themselves or just not trust anyone at all because they don't want to get hurt. Like I already mentioned, failure is their worst fear. And when it comes to relationships, sometimes they would rather not trust the other person because they're afraid of getting hurt or they're afraid of failure. This is gonna hold an Aries back and is one of the biggest things that they need to work on learning to trust people because you need other people for certain things. You can't always do everything on your own. The Aries might find that really difficult to believe. But if this sounds anything like you, then you're probably an Aries and that's the truth about your zodiac sign. The truth about Taurus. Yes, believe it or not, there are a few traits that a Taurus is gonna wanna hide from you. They're not gonna want you to know these secrets about them until maybe you figure it out on your own. But lucky for you, I'm here to tell you. So Tauruses, listen up, this might be you. Secret number one, Tauruses have very unpredictable spending habits and any Taurus might be reluctant to admit this even to themselves because they think they're very grounded, they're very down to earth and most of the time they do have very good budgeting, but Tauruses do like the finer things in life and it's not always where you would think. It's not like they spend a shit ton of money on expensive designer clothing. I mean, that could be it, but most of the time it's like experiences, like Tauruses will blow money on expensive vacations or like trips somewhere because it's an experience and they kind of brush this off as an excuse to spend large amounts of money because it's building them up with their character. This is something that a lot of Tauruses experience because they want to be that firm foundation that is wise and knows how to handle their money the right way. But when it comes to certain things, every Taurus will immediately know what that thing is for them, whether it is trips or vacations, or if it's designer clothing, if that's what you choose. A lot of times with Tauruses, it's like gourmet food because they love food so much. They would rather spend like $50 on lunch than make something at home. Or if they do make something at home, it has to be really, really nice. So that's unexpected truth number one about the Taurus. Their spending habits aren't always as great as they claim. Speaking of habits, that brings us to point number two about the Taurus. The truth is y'all have some pretty bad habits, like unhealthy habits. The Taurus is so stuck in their ways that sometimes when other people are pointing out all of these toxic traits, about them, they're not willing to change and it's because they really are stubborn. See, everyone knows that the Taurus is the most stubborn zodiac sign, but that is ultimately their downfall when it comes to unhealthy habits. And in this way, sometimes the Taurus is their own worst enemy because they're not really working to change things because what they've been doing has been fine for the past however many years and nothing bad's happened yet, but self-improvement isn't always at the top of their list. And speaking of improvement, that brings us to secret number Number three, when it comes to the Taurus, they are the first ones to resist and despise anything that has to do with change. Change is a Taurus's worst fear. They live in their comfort zone of having their routine, having their unhealthy habits. And if anything puts that into question or threatens what they know and love, they're gonna freak out because like I said, they resist change with all of their heart. They can't stand it. And this isn't always a bad thing. They just stick up for what they love and they like to be in their comfort zone but Tauruses, if you're watching, I challenge you to embrace change a little bit more this year. If this sounds anything like you, then you might be a Taurus, and that is the truth about your zodiac sign. The unexpected truth about Geminis. Now, I'm not sure if this is gonna be that unexpected. Maybe, maybe not. Number one, you guys suck at listening, okay? I think I've mentioned this before. I just really wanted to say it again because I think sometimes Geminis come off as good listeners because they like to have conversation. When in all reality, Geminis like conversation because they like to talk, not because they like to listen. This is something that a Gemini probably won't tell you when they first meet you because they're gonna make you feel special like they're listening because they want to talk you up, but most of the time they're waiting for the next chance that they get to talk and not really listening to what you're having to say. They'll probably refrain from telling you this because A, they don't know that they're doing it, or B, they don't really care. Either way, that's one of the Gemini's biggest downfalls and probably 
something that they're not gonna tell you when they first meet you. Secret number two, uh, Geminis can sometimes, not all of them, sometimes be a little narcissistic. And this is kind of a stereotypical Gemini thing. We know that Kanye is notorious for having that narcissistic energy. And sometimes it really is just that, you know, they're not actually diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder. It's just they rub off the wrong way on people like they're obsessed with themselves. I've mentioned before it's because Geminis are extremely talented and they know that they're talented. That doesn't always sit well with people and I think Geminis do have a higher tendency of being narcissistic personality types. They kind of live in this superhero complex that everything revolves around them and it's not toxic all the time. They feel like they have something really important to offer the world and and they'll sacrifice anything to do that. So if you're a Gemini and you're watching, be careful how you come off to other people because sometimes it sounds a little narcissistic. Now lastly, Gemini truth number three, they cannot stand being alone. This is one of the Gemini's worst traits is that they can't stand alone time. It's difficult for them to be alone and recharge in that way. They actually get their energy from being around other groups of people and communicating with them. You know, some people get energy from being alone Geminis do not. They get so bored and they can't stand being out of a relationship and being single or being in a room by themselves. They're usually people that will always have someone over at their house because they feel alone when they're alone. Again, not necessarily a toxic trait, just something that's more specific to Geminis that they probably wouldn't tell you or they're just simply not aware of. If this sounds anything like you, then you're probably a Gemini and that's the truth about your zodiac sign. The truth about cancers. Hello, my babies. How are you? Missed you, love you, you're doing great. I always like to baby y'all because I know you need it. Now, there are a lot of things that cancers will probably keep from you when they first meet you. We like to keep secrets, okay? We don't always have the best traits. And here's a few that you probably didn't know. Number one, cancers, unlike the Geminis that I just mentioned, the Geminis can't stand being alone. They always feel bored. Cancers are the opposite where they absolutely need their alone time. Sometimes Sometimes to the extreme. It's something that a lot of cancers are aware of and sometimes some of them aren't and they get overwhelmed because there's too many people around them and they need that alone time. If you're considering going into a relationship with a cancer, this is really important for you to know. You can't always be around them and be smothering them because this is how they recharge. It's nothing personal. It's not against you. They need to be alone. That solitude is so important to the cancer. So if they don't want to go out with you, don't be offended. They just need to stay home home tonight because they've had a long week and they need to recharge. Now, cancers, I warn you, the truth about this trait is that you guys can take it to the extreme. You'll be major loners to the point where you don't want any friends and you will isolate yourself. That's a hard truth and hopefully if you're aware of it, it won't happen. Cancer secret number two. This one's probably something you won't hear very frequently when it comes to cancers. Normally we're played off as the emotional ones, the crybabies, the homebodies, but what you don't know about the cancers is that they get very obsessed with certain things, like unhealthfully addicted to anything that they like. A cancer will will get in their minds that if they have a dream, they become obsessed with it and it's all they can think about. And it's not always just like career based. Sometimes it's fixated on a person and they will become obsessed with a person or they find a food that they like and they eat it every day. It's that unhealthy, addictive personality that a lot of cancers carry around with them and they're probably not always gonna tell you that. It's like, have you ever seen that show, My Strange Addiction, where like the woman is is like addicted to bathing in bleach or something. Like I feel like she was a cancer. And then like the next month, you'll be totally off of that addiction and onto the next one. It's very unpredictable, but be aware, all of my cancers out there, of your addictive personality and your obsessions. And last but not least, secret number three with the cancers, y'all have high expectations. We tend to give ourselves away to everyone. And with that, we oftentimes expect the same treatment and the same loyalty back. 
back. And that's expecting a lot from the common person. So that's why cancers get hurt a lot because they're giving themselves away and they don't get the same treatment. So we tend to have higher expectations for other people when we need to lower those down a bit. So if you're going into a relationship with a cancer, be prepared to have certain expectations that they want to be met. They're just very needy and they require a lot of attention because they give it away to other people. And it's hard to keep that balance. If you are a cancer and you're watching, I highly recommend you change your expectations for others. It will help you become happier. You won't find yourself emotional all the time because you'll be getting hurt less if you lower your expectations for others. But if that sounds anything like you, then you're probably a cancer and that's the truth about your zodiac sign. The truth about Leos. Hello Leos, you're ready for me to talk about you. I always say that because you are. It's not a bad thing, but today I'm gonna be exposing you. There's three secrets that you probably don't normally tell people or that maybe you don't even know about yourself. The first one being how freaking impatient you guys are. You guys are so impatient for things to happen for you or for tasks to be completed. You'll see someone doing something and you almost want to step in because they're not doing it fast enough. Or efficiently enough. You guys like the saying, if you want something done right, you might as well do it yourself. I'm pretty sure a Leo probably said that because that is you guys to a T, super impatient. And you probably won't be telling other people that when you first meet them. So if you're a Leo, try to be more aware of your patience and your expectations for other people. Leo truth number two. This one's gonna be a hard one for you guys to hear. So prepare yourself, sit down. <sighs> Sometimes you Leos, not all of you, but a majority, kind of expect things to be handed to you. Someone had to say it. Because Leos are usually pretty attractive and confident and tend to get their way a lot, they have these expectations that things are just gonna be really easy for them because a lot of their life, things are easy. They're really good and talented at a lot of things and life sort of flows naturally for them. It kind of becomes a problem when you guys get used to that and you expect the world to give you something. It's like, you know when children are kind of spoiled? <laughs> they have this complex that they're owed something and that things should just be handed to them and it's that easy. It's kind of a Leo thing. No offense to you guys, okay? Don't get mad at me because it's true, you know it. And I think that's something that a lot of Leos will have to work on in the course of their life. Last but not least, Leo truth slash secret. Number three, other people's opinions matter to you so much, way too much. I've mentioned before how Leos are truly confident beings, but they tend to be self-destructive because their confidence is on the inside smaller than what it appears to be. It's because other people's opinions are a large portion of their value for themselves. So they are extremely confident when people are loving them and people are giving them attention and positivity, but other people are unpredictive and sometimes they're not gonna like you and not always for a good reason. Like other people can be jerks, Leos, and you will take that to heart and you will find your value in other people's opinions of you. And as soon as they hate you, you hate yourself. That's a huge downfall and an unexpected truth about the Leos because they come off as these super confident shining stars, which they are, but secretly deep down, they're trying to work on their self-worth because they're relying on other people to give it to them a little too much. So if that sounds anything like you, you're probably a Leo and that's the truth about your zodiac sign. The truth about Virgos. Hey Virgos, how are you? Welcome back. Today I'm gonna be exposing you. I'm gonna be talking about the secrets that you wouldn't normally tell someone when you first meet them. If you're going into a relationship with a Virgo, these are some things you might wanna know. I mean, we know the typical Virgo stuff. They're control freaks, whatever. They're super neat. But these are some unexpected truths. Number one, uh, Virgos, y'all can be kind of mean sometimes. It's not all the time. It's because you're just huge overthinkers. You'll be in a situation where you don't really know how to react, instead of voicing that confusion, you will lash out and snap at people and come off kind of mean. <laughs> it's just a manifestation of your internal conflict that you have sometimes because of the lack of control of your situations. So if you're a Virgo, maybe check yourself sometimes, girl, because you can snap. That's something that Virgos aren't normally known for, but you guys can have a little bit of a mean streak. Secret number two, and I'm not sure if this is really a secret, but Virgo can't stand being told what to do. It's probably their worst fear having someone above them giving them orders and instructing them on how to live their life and how to be efficient 
because Virgos think they have it down, and most of the time they really do. They know how to be efficient in their own lives, and they don't want other people to tell them how to do that. They put almost all of their energy into being efficient and being organized, and for someone to tell them how to live their life when they already know how, it strikes a nerve, okay? Virgos do not like that. So if you are a Virgo, try to be aware that maybe you would flow better in a situation where you are your own boss or you work at home, and if you're going into a relationship with a Virgo, try not to boss them around because they don't like that very much. And last but not least, Virgo truth number three. You guys are extreme realists to the point where have you ever heard of someone having aspirations that maybe aren't the realest things in the world, but still you can dream, can't you? Virgos are so real when it comes to expectations. They don't even consider things that aren't realistic. They like to take things into consideration that are probable and possible. Instead of imagining a world without limits, the Virgo tends to put themselves in a box. And this is really good for being a constructive person and making things happen. But Virgos, I caution you to maybe think outside of yourself. Anything can happen. If you've ever had that little dream that you just put away and set on the shelf and it's collected dust over the years because you became more realistic, maybe consider dusting that off and rethinking it because you guys might have forgotten that anything really can happen. But if that sounds anything like you, then you might be a Virgo, and that's the truth about your zodiac sign. The truth about Libras. Hello Libras, welcome back. I'm gonna be sharing with you three truths or secrets that you probably wouldn't tell someone, or maybe things that you don't even know about yourself. Secret number one that we don't really know about the Libras too much is that y'all tend to spend so much money, you guys are luxurious. I know some people know this about Libras, but I don't know if I've ever touched on it. You guys love expensive things, and it's just a lifestyle. You like to convey a certain image, it's very important important to you. And that's not a problem, but it can become one if it starts to dominate your life and you don't feel right unless you have that designer bag or that fancy vacation. You don't need to find your value there. Your value is in what a great communicator and mediator and empath you are, not in these things that convey a certain lifestyle. And going right along with that is truth number two about the Libras. Appearance is very important. Just like famous Libras that you've probably heard of, Kim Kardashian, Kardashian, for example, their appearance is everything and it annoys you sometimes. <laughs> As you can imagine, being in the center spotlight all the time is exhausting, but your appearance is very important and take pride in your appearance. That's okay. But don't forget to remember that the most important things are on the inside. Sometimes Libras have difficulty aging, like they're terrified of getting old because they know that that's when your physical appearance starts to deteriorate. And so a lot of Libras will actually opt to conserve their appearance and go to extreme lengths to do it. So if you're a Libra, try to be aware of that because you don't have to be afraid of your appearance deteriorating because it's what's on the inside that counts. And last but not least, Libras are actually pretty lazy. That comes as a surprise to a lot of people because Libras are notorious for being charismatic. On the flip side, we can catch you guys at home on the couch watching TV, not wanting to do anything all day and you would be completely fine with that. Your accountability for yourself isn't at the highest. So if you're a Libra and you're watching this and you could kind of agree with that, maybe keep an eye out on yourself with your accountability and try not to be so freaking lazy. But overall, you guys are a great sign. If you're going into a relationship with a Libra, I hope this helps. But if that sounds anything like you, then you're probably a Libra and that's the truth about your zodiac sign. The truth about Scorpios. Hello, Scorpios. How are you today? I hope you're ready for me to expose you. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna go easy on you, maybe. I'm gonna be giving you guys three traits that Scorpios probably don't know about themselves or maybe aren't that obvious. In case you are a Scorpio and you're just curious or you could be going into a relationship with a Scorpio, these are some secrets or some things that maybe they wouldn't tell you or they aren't even aware of. Secret slash truth number one about the Scorpios. This is kind of awkward, but y'all can be 
some major sex addicts, okay? This is like a Scorpio thing. They are just inherently very flirty in nature. It is very important to them. Their sex lives are right there up at the top. And this isn't every single Scorpio. Not all of them are this way, but a large portion of them. <laughs> They're just passionate and spicy and they like to have that in their lives. It's very important. And I think anyone going into a relationship with a Scorpio should be aware of that. And it's not always a bad thing either. It's just who they are as a person. Truth number two, Scorpios are extremely paranoid slash suspicious. They are so suspicious of people that they're in relationships with or their friends or the situation. They are always thinking someone's cheating on them. They are always assuming people are psychopaths. This is something I've noticed with every Scorpio I have ever met. They like to be on their toes because either they've been hurt in the past or they've experienced some crazy shit and they have every right to be that way. They are just paranoid in nature. But y'all can jump to some conclusions sometimes that aren't really accurate. So if you are a Scorpio, try to be aware of that and just simmer down a little bit. Simmer down. Not everyone's out to get you, okay? Now, unexpected fact number three about Scorpios is how freaking competitive they are. This is something that isn't normally talked about with Scorpios. Usually they get the rep of being passionate and fiery, but they can be intense in the way of being super competitive too. Like a Scorpio could be in competition with someone and they don't even know it. It's just in their nature. And a lot of times in their relationships too, they like competitive relationships where maybe the other person is also a dominant personality and they just like to go head to head. And maybe you guys butt heads all the time, but you like that firework, you know? I know a lot of Scorpios that put up with a lot of shit because they like that. Like they like to have confrontation they live off of that or else they get bored. It's just a Scorpio thing. They're very competitive. But if you are a Scorpio, this is why you might like sports or competitions like pageants or anything that has to do with you going head to head with someone else. That's something that people don't normally talk about with Scorpios, but super important to know nonetheless. So if you are a Scorpio, try to be aware of how competitive you are and don't overdo it, okay? You can be too competitive, believe it or not. But if that sounds anything like you, then you're probably probably a Scorpio and that is the truth about your zodiac sign. The truth about Sagittarius is I am going to spill the tea all over the Sagittarii. The Sagittarius sigh. I don't know what the plural is, but hey guys, how are you? Welcome back. These are a few things that either if you are a Sagittarius, you're not aware of or traits that you could be aware of that you just don't normally share with other people. So if you're going into a relationship with a Sagittarius, listen up. These are gonna be important things for you to know. Sagittarius secret number one, they love playing the victim. Now we oftentimes see this with Sagittariuses that don't really know how to communicate their argument. Sometimes Sometimes when you guys have confrontation, you tend to play the victim more often than not because it's the easy way out. Rather than making a valid argument and coming to a compromise, that's not even a question for you. You would rather be a complete victim in a situation than ever compromise with someone. And if you are a Sagittarius, maybe try and be more aware of that, how much you are victimizing yourself when it's not always necessary. Maybe it's not all Sagittariuses, we're speaking generally, but try and be more aware of that. Sagittarius secret number two kind of goes hand in hand. You guys tend to be a little selfish and stubborn. This is kind of unexpected because the Sagittariuses are known for being wise. They're known for, you know, having good taste and having great advice to give to other people, but they suck at taking their own advice because they're stubborn and they're selfish sometimes. And like I said, they would rather take the easy way out and say my way or the highway rather than listen to what other people have to say and consider it. I think this is one of the Sagittarius's most toxic traits because they don't really listen to other people's critiques. Even if it's coming from a good place, they just automatically think you're being a jerk, you're a meanie and I'm a victim. So that's something a little unexpected about the Sagittarius. And last but not least, number three, you guys can have a mean streak because you aren't the most sensitive beings. Sagittarius is on the opposite side of the spectrum. There's like the sensitive water signs and then there's like the Sagittarius, which is the most straightforward, blunt, insensitive zodiac sign. And because of this, it's not necessarily a bad thing, you guys. Being blunt and honest is good, but you can come off as mean because 
there are people that are more sensitive and they can't handle your honesty and your truth that you're dishing out. So if you are a sensitive type and you're going into a friendship or a relationship with a Sagittarius, you should probably become familiar with how bold they are before you consider becoming serious because that can be a deal breaker with a Sagittarius. They're gonna tell you what's up. They're gonna tell you if they don't like you. If you're out of line, they're not afraid to say it. And that's just the way it is with the Sagittarius. I love you guys. But if that sounds anything like you, then you are probably a Sagittarius and that is the truth about your zodiac sign. The truth about Capricorns. I'm not here to tell you how much you work. I'm not here to tell you how much you have your life together. I'm here to explain the three unexpected traits and truths that maybe you aren't even aware of yourself. So sit down and I'm just gonna get into it. First Capricorn truth is that you guys are so unforgiving. You guys hold grudges to the death. You will seriously not forgive anyone for the life of you, especially if it's something that seriously hurt you, you will never forget a cut. This is something I've noticed with a lot of Capricorns that they struggle with is having enemies. Even if the other person has moved on, they're not worried about you. They're off living their best life and you're over here having a grudge, just so angry still when that's not helping you, that's not serving you. So if you are a Capricorn or you're going into a relationship with a Capricorn, that's something you should be aware of is that they're not always the most forgiving. Capricorn truth number two, you guys suck at social Specializing sometimes. I don't know if this one gets touched on very often, but the Capricorn is a little awkward, okay? You guys are not inclined to go to the party. You're not inclined to be the center of attention all the time because you really don't like being in the spotlight too much, which is surprising because Capricorns always have their life together. That's what we know them for, the sturdy rock that they are, but that doesn't mean that they're the best at making friends. And this can lead to them being a little lonely sometimes. I didn't wanna say it. I don't wanna make you guys upset, but you tend to isolate yourselves. Be careful, Capricorns. You don't have to do that. That, okay, social life is still important. Now, last but not least, Capricorn secret number three you guys tend to have these agonizing routines every single day, day in, day out. You have the comfort of your own routine, and this lifestyle can be extremely boring, especially if you have a significant other that comes into your life that enjoys unpredictability and likes to be spontaneous they're not gonna be very happy that you, the Capricorn, has this predictable, boring routine every day, which may suit you really well, but doesn't suit someone else, and they can't always fit into that cookie cutter comfort zone that you have. I recommend you try switching it up and try to be aware of these routines and cycles that you put yourself in for the sake of comfortability, because breaking out of that is really gonna help you guys branch out, and believe it or not, help you to make more connections. Capricorns, I love you, no offense, but you just need a little push sometimes. But if this sounds anything like you, then you're probably a Capricorn and that's the truth about your zodiac sign. The truth about Aquarius. I'm gonna be exposing y'all. The Aquarii, the Aquar Aquarii, Aquariuses, Aquariuses. I hope you guys are ready. I'm gonna be talking about three traits that you wouldn't normally tell someone, or maybe you aren't even aware of yourself. We all know the Aquariuses as being the action go-getters, the world changers, the philanthropists, even if your beliefs aren't always the best, but you go for it. I'm gonna be sharing with you three secrets or traits that maybe you didn't even know about yourself. Number one being Aquariuses. Yeah, yeah, you guys are kind of cheaty. Yeah, kind of flirtatious in nature to the point where you might cheat, okay? A lot of Aquariuses have wandering eyes. They can't really commit to one person all the time. That doesn't always mean that you would actually cheat. Like you're very loyal, but ugh, your behavior is suspicious sometimes. They're just very flirtatious in the way that they talk with other people. They tend to be captivating to other people, attracting a lot of eyes to them in a way that is flirtatious. And it causes usually for their significant others to put them into question because their behavior isn't always the best. So try to be aware of that if you're going into a relationship with an Aquarius, that they can be a little cheaty. They got a little cheat energy there. Doesn't always mean they're gonna cheat, but it's just who they are. They attract other people's energy. Number two, uh, this one, I feel like I've touched on it before, but not very many people 
people talk about this, how much the Aquarius like needs to be in the center of attention. It's actually like worse than the Leos sometimes. Aquariuses get off by telling stories to other people, like stories. And they're not always true. Like they're exaggerated, dude. Like the Aquarius will be that person that takes the stories of their friend's friend's situation that happened two years ago and make it their own story and tell other people at a party to make them seem interesting. The Aquarius is that guy. It's just exhausting. Like you guys don't have to do all that for people to like you. You're already such a great person and you guys try kind of hard to be at the center of attention. But what makes you guys different though is that other people like to put you in the center of attention too. It's not just like you're being selfish, like everyone look at me. It's like everyone wants to look at you too. It's a strange dynamic and I've only really seen it with Aquariuses where people are just drawn to that and they just want to put you in the center of the circle and you really like it. So if you are an Aquarius, try and be aware. Y'all can be a little dramatic when it comes to your stories. Now, last but not least for my Aquariuses, y'all are possessive and jealous beings sometimes, most of the time. Like if they have a fixation on you, they don't want anyone else talking to you. They don't want anyone else looking at you. And it's kind of messed up because remember when I said, Aquariuses like draw other people's attention around them and how they're kind of like cheaty. They'll be that way, but they won't let you be that way. No, they can't handle when other people flirt around, but they'll do it themselves. Maybe not all Aquariuses, but a large portion of them. So if you are an Aquarius, try and be more aware of how possessive you are of your friends, of your family, of your significant other. And if you find yourself getting jealous or envious, try and extinguish that flame. Everything's going to be fine and just keep on living your best life. But if that sounds anything like you, then you might be an Aquarius and that's the truth about your zodiac sign. The truth about Pisces. Hi Pisces, how are you so cute little baby because of the Pisces, oh. I'm learning to love Pisces because I feel like Pisces and Cancer are actually more similar than we think and that's why oftentimes we butt heads, but I really love you guys. I know I give you shit, but it's coming from a place of love. I'm gonna be sharing with you three traits about yourself that maybe you as a Pisces aren't even aware of, maybe it's not often talked about, or if you're going into a relationship with a Pisces, it's something you should know. Pisces secret number one or truth is that oftentimes you guys turn yourself into doormats. You let people walk all over you and you just can't say no to people. I just filmed a video where I said yes for an entire day, like the Yes Man movie. That's Pisces in real life. You guys don't know how to say no because you want to be a good friend and you truly love everyone and you just like take on all of these tasks and you just end up getting way too overloaded because you say, yes, and you become a doormat for everyone to walk on you. The poor things, the poor things. Try to become more aware of that Pisces. Try to say no more often. Secondly, you guys can't seem to separate reality and fantasy. Pisces really do live in their own world. And I know I've mentioned this before as sort of a negative trait, but I really do think it can be an advantage over other zodiac signs because you are dreamers to the extreme where you live in a fantasy world. You kind of see things as endless possibilities and it really does excel you. It makes you go really far in life because you don't really see an end game. You just keep on going up and up and up and there is no end for you. And that's amazing. But something that isn't frequently talked about because a lot of Pisces get thrown off to the side as people that are unrealistic and dreamers when really living in that Pisces world could benefit you. So if you're going into a relationship with a Pisces, I highly recommend you date them for a period of time till you really find out like where their head is and what their goals are before you make that commitment because the Pisces can't be tied down, okay? They are limitless and you don't wanna get left in the dust or feel like you've been left behind because a Pisces will leave you behind if you get in the way of their dreams. So maybe Make sure you know what the Pisces wants. And if you are a Pisces, maybe consider having a routine that helps to ground you because it is important that you do have a firm grasp on reality. This dreaminess about you can sometimes lead to small attention spans where you don't really get that much work done and you're not very productive. So try and be aware of it. And last but not least, the third Pisces secret that they probably won't tell you right away is how emotional they are. Just like the Cancers, the Pisces 
is a water sign. So inherently that means that they are feeling everything. And the Pisces doesn't really get the label of super emotional because they don't really show their emotions the same way all the time, but they are emotional beings. They feel everything. And I think they handle their emotions differently because whereas the Cancers, they just like show them openly. They wear their emotions out in the open. The Pisces is a little confused in their emotions. Like they're flowing around and they're just like stuck in this cycle where it's not always apparent that they're so sensitive. So if you are a Pisces, try and figure out how to process your emotions and handle them in a healthy way. And that will ensure that your sensitivity will not bring you down at all. But if that sounds anything like you, then you're probably a Pisces and that's the truth about your zodiac sign. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the truth about your zodiac sign. The traits about you that maybe aren't always as obvious. I hope you enjoyed this video. For once, this zodiac video didn't go into the night. Thank you for watching. If you would like to see more zodiac videos from me, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave your recommendations down below. I will leave you guys a playlist right here of all of my zodiac content so you can entertain yourself for hours. But I love you guys so much. Let me know if you could relate. I thoroughly hope you enjoyed, but most of all, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. God bless you guys. Bye.